is Shalala Wen, and this is day six of 33 days of metamorphosis with me. And I'm really appreciating if you're joining me every day for these videos. It's a lot to take in. Um, there's really a whole new way of thinking, seeing, being, and feeling your life that I'm offering here. So there's some mega paradigm shifts happening here. And that may be digesting just fine for you. It may be that you're calibrating to it. It may be that you can't watch every video and you can only watch every other one or certain ones. Um, there's always a reason for this and what I've found over 13 years of offering the parts perspective to people is that it's really up to particularly the protector aspect if they're ready and desirous and wanting to be differentiated. And if they're not, then they don't they don't see it, they don't let themselves be known. The resonance or interest just fades away. And it's interesting because over the years, um, Raphael and I have gotten a lot of interest. Not a lot, but you know, people that are very resonant and interested in us. Uh, it's usually about our energy. They're very drawn to our energy. And then when we offer that, we have this energy because of this parts work, because of the work we've done with our parts. That's when it gets more challenging for the person to accept it, to resonate, to understand it. And that's kind of when we lose people, so to speak. And I, I have thought over the years, you know, if I, could, if I could just maybe put aside the parts thing and just offer uh, a, an open-hearted energy and um, some yummy divine frequencies, which I can access and offer, uh, maybe that would draw more people, more people would understand what we're trying to offer. And yet, I just can't. I can't. Because this is the reality, embracing these aspects and parts of myself and my soul is what has led to all of the goodness that I experience and have experienced in my life. It's completely transformed who I am. Thirteen years ago, I was a smoker. I, I was addicted to my work. This was coaching work, life and business coaching, so it was it was porous good work, it was service. Um, I had so much anxiety, parts of me, that I didn't know even what to do with this anxiety. I had insomnia, uh, difficulty sleeping, I was overweight and always struggled with being overweight. I Parts of me were acutely self-conscious. I didn't even realize how self-conscious I was until I was around people who had worked with their parts enough to not be self-conscious anymore. Then I realized how self-conscious I was. So, and my relationships, while could be nourishing on some levels, were really steeped in codependence. And I hadn't even begun to awaken my soul gifts and the reason I'm here. So, I know there are other paths out there, and obviously lots of them, and lots of other processes. This is the one that I'm here to offer, uniquely, specifically, parts work. So this video series really gives you a taste and a sense if this is for you or not. Um, you'll feel it. You'll feel if there's an opening. You'll start to hear your protector, especially. Um, what I'm going to do today is something I've done in group calls a number of times and I wanted to do it for this series, which is a guided meditation to meet your protector. So if you're intrigued by what we're offering here about parts of yourself and you feel like there could be something in it for you, I really encourage you to do this meditation today and see what happens. I gave you some questions yesterday to begin the process, just to start thinking about 
the protector, but also the 5D self, the, the self that you want to become more and more of. My 5D self is what I would call Jalel, and it's a soul name that was offered to me a couple of years ago. It's a very precious name to me now. Uh, Jalel Owen has quite a waveform frequency to it. In translation, it's literally I, she, of divine inspiration. So it's very meaningful, and it holds the energy of my 5D self, right? It's, it's really representative and the embodiment of that energy. And yet, it's taken 13 years of differentiating these different aspects of myself, of my 3D self, and um, from my metasoul to embody this more and more, and to be sitting here with you with, um, I don't feel any self-consciousness, it's, it's rare, I don't feel judgment of myself, and parts of me used to be very, very, that's why I was so self-conscious, right, it's because part of me would judge me, and then I would feel acute shame from another part of me, um, shame is our innocence, the innocence of our inner child, that has been squashed by punishment and criticism. I had a lot of that going on, and I really didn't have a voice or didn't feel like I did. So, so much has shifted for me because of this work. I'm so grateful, so grateful for this perspective. It's not just a strategy to help your life be better. It, it changes your world. And it's, it's challenging. I think it's very challenging, actually, to not have the parts perspective. And yet I recognize that separating these energies out when there can be so much a part of your personality is challenging. This is why we really, really advocate for you to get support for it through sessions. And we're, we're also feeling, ideally, those sessions would be weekly. If you're in a financial situation right now where you can't afford that, sessions are about $55, a minimum donation for an hour or two. Most of our sessions are an hour and a half, especially in the beginning. If you can't afford weekly, please let us know and we can see what we can work out with you, um, perhaps temporarily, and if it's meeting twice a month instead of four times a month. And we offer our group call, too, to experience some of this differentiation and get a little bit of support. You can share for about 15 minutes during that, during the group calls. And we have one coming up on Saturday, the 13th of January, so please do consider coming to that. It's a great support for what you're experiencing, what you're taking in, in these videos. So really, that's when this work takes off is when you have someone who can help you be a mirror. I, I worked with a facilitator for over five years myself and I needed every minute of it to get, get a sense of this part from that part, this energy from that energy. It's all led by you. That's what's so beautiful about it. It all comes from inside of you. There's, there's not us as a facilitator telling you what your parts are, you you lead the process and it really comes alive for you, magical, in your own time, in your own world. So you come, eventually you start coming to the sessions and you're all excited because this happened, that happened and I discovered this and the connections start coming for you. These parts hold all kinds of information, that's the thing. They have all kinds of answers for you about why you've chosen this or not chosen that, or why you're scared of this or you're desirous of that, they can give you those answers. You just need to bridge to them to find out. And especially the protector, who actually is what we call a gatekeeper. Not a gatekeeper in the same way as is commonly used in Ascension. Um, this gatekeeper has a specific purpose or function of guarding your metasoul. So, basically, access to all of the other lifetimes and timelines for which your soul has expressed, is expressing. 
And this veil of amnesia that you might feel about that, once connecting with your protector, who becomes your gatekeeper, you get access to all of that. And you start remembering and connecting with medicinal sisters or brothers living in all these other timelines. And I write about that quite a bit. So if you're interested in that, again, if you're following the series, you are welcome to receive a gift of my new book, Bliss Mess, as a PDF. Uh, just email us at soulfulhearts at gmail.com and we'll send it to you. I talk a lot about my connection in that book with both my Metasoul sisters. There's one from the time of Atlantis falling. There's one from ancient Greece timeline. Nothing is past, so it's not really ancient. And also I think from Ireland as well, from the hundreds AD, I think. So, and also my connection with my 4D self as well. I haven't had what I would call a gatekeeper for a while, so that, that has ascended into an energy of more of a guide. So let's, um, let's try this meditation to meet your protector. Let's see what happens. And I'm going to close my eyes as well, and you can close them. You don't need to look at the video or at me anymore. You can just take in my voice from this point forward. And you're welcome to play any music you'd like in the background, if that helps you get into a deeper state. I'm just going to take a few breaths here invite you to do the same. An inhale and an exhale. Just bring your attention inward. Feel your inner reality whatever's going on for you and your parts. I just took another deep breath because it feels good. We're going to picture, I keep getting golden white light energy lately. There's always gold in it. I think this has something to do with the new year, 2018. It started last month. So let's feel this golden white energy just creating a beautiful room for us to be in right now. I like picturing us in a circle. You and I, whoever else is watching this, whenever they're watching it, we form a circle together. And I feel Metatron here with us. He is often looks like a elderly man, a kind of a thin Santa, he likes to say. He has beautiful energy. You could if you can't see him, it's okay. Just feel him as a, a an energy of fatherly presence and comfort. If you can see him, see him coming to sit on your right side. And I think we'll call in Sophia today. She's the divine feminine face of wisdom. Seems to be the counterpart to Metatron to help us with ascension. Sophia has long brown hair, beautiful golden gown, kind of cloak. She's smiling at me. <laughs> Hello, Sophia. And she comes and sits. Ashkeletine shanaman paike. Alikipiti. Little bit of light language there. 
If you feel any light language, feel free to roll it out. Sophia is on your left holding your, your hand and Metatron is on your right. We're just going to feel this golden white energy like a wave of water sweetly washing into our crown chakra at the top of our head and moving down. Down our third eye, forehead, down our throat. Down into our heart, illuminating our higher heart, expanding it. Down into our solar plexus and belly area. Down into our sacral chakra and then down to our root at the base of our spine. See your grounding cord that connects from the base of your spine into Gaia. And just feel that energy move down that cord. It's just starting at the top again with more waves of energy and then move it all the way through again. Hmm. That should feel pretty good. This higher frequency of light and energy and cleaning everything out. This is a very basic cleaning, activating that you can do. I highly recommend it at least twice a day. Sometimes I even do this if I'm sitting in a restaurant or another public place. I just close my eyes and visualize this for a few seconds. And I swirl this golden white energy through the whole place too. And that can help. It can help me with public spaces and may help you as well. So filling up with this golden white energy, notice how you feel in this moment. Maybe you started this video with a bit of lower energy or even reaction or upset or maybe now it feels a bit more soothed or grounded. Just more space. Your 5D self needs this kind of sense of space. And support. So we have Metatron on one side and Sophia on the other. And they're showing me a path through the woods. So feel yourself walking on this path in the woods. They're walking with you and you're totally supported. And up ahead is a clearing. And in the clearing is a castle. Go ahead and picture this castle however it comes to you. Could be very grand and big. Could be gilded and gold everywhere. It could be much more humble and simple. Could have a big moat in front of it. <laughs> and big gates or not at all. This castle represents your essence and your emotional body and your, where your parts live. So just take a moment to see and feel this castle. Whatever you see and feel is right and perfect. Notice too like I said, how you feel when you're in front of your castle. Do you, does it feel inviting? Does it feel maybe a, a bit scary? Does it feel unknown? Does it feel familiar? 
We're going to stay on the outside of the castle for now. And while we're standing here, you notice a guard of the castle coming toward you. This guard of the castle is your protector. What do they look and feel like? Are they wearing you know, full armor? Do they have a weapon? As your protector comes toward you, what's their energy like? And also, in this moment, listen if there's anything they'd like to say to you. Say hello to them, of course, and invite them to connect with you, to see you, to feel you as the 5D self that you are, and to see how you're supported by Metatron, Sophia, and me. And a community of other souls that are doing this meditation too. And just feel what it's like with your protector in this moment. What do they feel like? How are they being? How are they acting? In most cases, they'll, they'll be pretty guarded. And that's realistic. And it takes time for them to trust and to open up. And whatever reaction you get from them, offer them love. Offer them curiosity. Offer them your promise that you'll connect again. And I want to say to your protector that I deeply honor the role that they have served and the protection they have done for you. I feel very grateful to them for that. And the invitation here, when they're ready, is for a deeper resting. Only when they're ready. And for now, we're not even going to go inside the castle. That will be for another time, when they feel comfortable with it. So say goodbye to your protector for now. Offer them your love. In whatever way they'll accept it. Metatron and Sophia give you a big hug and embrace. And you can also connect with them anytime you'd like to. They move away out of the forest. Take a deep breath. You can slowly open your eyes. <laughs> Takes me a few seconds to come back. Um, when I do that, I'm, I'm really in two places at the same time, which is kind of a common thing these days. So this was, a, it's very simple meditation. I started offering this about a year ago, 
and I was, I've been amazed at the results that we've heard from people in group calls, um, in session space, on YouTube, on the blog, on Facebook, to this very simple meditation. Everything from experiencing a very aggressive kind of protector that even comes at them with a big sword and get out of here, and everything from that to a big embracement and reunion experience. So this energy of this protection really responds well to this kind of simple meditation, just the intention and the love and the curiosity. So whatever you experience today, and if you didn't see your protector at all, that's okay too. That's part of the experience. You might try this meditation again, maybe later on in the series, and see if something different happens. It's all perfect, whatever, whatever unfolds for you. And we also have longer versions of this connected to our group calls and more teachings about the protector for women and for men that I will share in the comments section of this description. Does that make sense? I will share in the description. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. So, I've got a wonderful feeling in my heart in the moment from guiding this meditation today and helping others connect to their protectors. Just yesterday, in session space, I had a protector of a facilitant of mine who is, was just in tears, thanking me with gratitude for helping him awaken and helping him be real. And it was so touching. And touching for me, touching for him, touching for her. Um, I was just amazed at the at the level of appreciation for something that's just so natural for me now. And I'm just really honored to facilitate this reunion and this awakening. And I, I know all the magical places it can lead to. So thank you for joining me today. Thank you to your protectors for being open and available for this. And I really hope it's the beginning of an amazing intimacy between you and these amazing aspects of yourself.